In this Assassin's Creed Origins gameplay, we're going to be completing the Ray of Hope Papyrus. So first, let's show you the Ray of Hope Papyrus. So I need to open up my menu, and then from my menu right here, I can move over into my inventory. In the inventory, you can see Papyri right here on the right-hand side, and I have the Ray of Hope Papyri right here. It reads, In the Katara Depression, there is only one place that isn't dry and sad. At dawn's first light, there is one tree near the valley's entrance whose root are halfway between Ra's glory and Apophis shadow. Find me there, but make haste for Ra moves quickly. So of course, the sunlight, it needs to be the first light of a new day. This is what it means by dawn's first light. You also, because it's dawn of the new day, you also need to be in the Katara depression, which is a location on the map that I'll be showing you in a moment. It also says that it's at the entrance of the valley where it isn't dry and sad. So of course, there's going to be some water there at the entrance of a valley. So let's get into the map now, show you where I am and show you where we need to be in order to complete this papyri. So I am currently in this location. There is also a sink point where I am and I fast travel to this location. If I zoom out, you can see that I'm in the Imant Nomi right here. Moving over to the left hand side, you can see the Katara depression. This is where we need to be. Now it's depressing because it's hot, dry, and it's also a valley. So it's very low in the gravitation of le the gravity level sea level of the ground and that's why it's called a depression so you can see there's some water right here i've already marked a location in between this stone circle which i've already completed and the water which is the only water in the valley which gave me a clue as to where we need to be now you can see that the entrance of the valley between here and siwa is in this location so i knew that i needed to be on a piece of land near some water where this is going to be located so it's going to be a tree in this location that's how you actually saw the riddle let's go and collect our prize because it needs to be the first light of a new day i'm also going by horse so we can drain out the light of this day so we can be there at the right time let's go i also do have a final fantasy chocobo Bayak is doing a really funny movement right now. I don't know why he's doing that. Let me just get off the horse. Because <laughs> he's having issues. There you go. It should fix it. It has. Okay. That was really strange. Alright. So we are roughly 2,000 meters away from the location right now. It's going to be a few strange things happening because we're traveling through a desert. Probably dehydrated. So there's going to be a few mirages appearing here and there. Just a hint for those of you who are wondering why Mirage is called Mirage. Uh, if you haven't played Mirage yet, I also have some of that gameplay as well on the channel and more of Assassin's Creed games, so definitely check that out. We're now in the Katara Depression. Let me quickly show you where we are on the map as the light is draining out of this day. So following the path, we're almost there. Whoa. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think we have a... Oops, hold on. Let's have a battle really quick. I need to take these out. Yep, now he's done with. Now, you can see the light is actually draining out of the day as we're travelling, which is the reason why I was showing you to do it this way. Because when you're travelling, of course, you're draining out minutes of the day. The sun is going down, and we need the sun to come back up. So, that is one way that you can get that done. There's a mirage as well. On my days. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, whoa. I get you, whoa. Where's he going? Is he a part of the papyrus? Oh, he's leading me somewhere. Let's follow. Because we're not far from the papyrus, to be honest. So it could be a... Could be a clue. Did this happen to you when you tried to, to complete this papyrus? Let me know in the comment section, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm following him because he's actually lead. He's actually going in the right direction. So there might be something else here. Or we just simply... Ah. What? Are oh, you a snake? You doing some Moses thing, bro? He put his stuff on the ground and it turned into a snake? The mirage was Moses. Yeah. Okay. 
Yo, things like that that you miss out. So you can actually find Moses on the way <laughs> to completing this papyrus here. Uh, this is the reason why I love to show you different parts of the game, different gameplay. You can see that was Moses there because it was actually like a sound similar to how he is depicted in the Prince of Egypt. So if you've ever watched that movie, The Prince of Egypt. Whoa. Wait, there's another one. Wait, wait. What's going on here? Is it the bird? Whoa. Oh, it's fish. It's fish. Wider. Whoa. A campfire. And I'm not sure what that is. It looks Egyptian now. An urn, maybe? It's leading us into the correct direction. The light of the day is draining. Um, so, I might retitle this video now. So, I was going to just. Oh, hold up. Moses is back. Bro, that is definitely Moses. That is Moses. Yeah. Moses is actually leading us the way. I think the fish was a reference to maybe the Ark and the Flood. To the Katara Depression. Uh, maybe alluding to the... Ooh. He's back. He's older. You can tell what he's wearing. He's wearing Egyptian clothing. A lion. Light is almost done. <laughs> the ray of hope. Yeah. Alright, so at this point, you can see that I can follow the road. It's giving you a clue as to us being near the entrance. So if I hold A at that point yeah. there, I could have followed the road. I mean, it, it, this, this game is absolutely awesome like this. It does, it does things. Moses actually led us the way. Right, so here's the road. Yeah. Whoa. I'm going to go this way because I know I need to go closer to that water. If I went left, I think it would have led me away from it. Alright, so... The light will be falling. Just a moment. I'm going to follow the path around. The path is a clue. Like, if you're looking to complete Papyrus, uh, normally following paths can be really helpful. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. Wind is picking up. Not good. At this point, I could possibly get off my horse because I know I'm just gonna go around in Whoa. a circle here to this part of the path. Into the valley we go. Here's the stones. Is the Osiris stone. So just to show you where we are on the map. If I open up the map right now. This is the crossroads, basically. Where we leave the path. I'm going to leave the path right now. Let's have a look. Now the sun, Ra, in this example, is going to have to play a part. Now I've marked here, you can see a lot of trees Whoa. in this location. The music is definitely picking up to let us know that we are close. We're just genuinely being awesome. So it needs to be the light of the new day. So if I wait, ooh.
this tree right here. Papyrus solved. That was amazing. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> and as promised, I'll get out my chocobo as well. So let me just uh, quickly get you my chocobo. To my gear. Quay. Calling Quay. <whistles> Easy go. <laughs> So there we have it, we've just completed the Papyri Ray of Hope in Assassin's Creed Origins. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Moses also helped us out, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just casually, just, that's how we do. Uh, thank you for watching, don't forget there's more where that came from.